Today, we are going to be feeding our tiger kids creatures from the deep. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Landon Share. As you guys can see, these cats are hanging out in the water just having fun. But this pond is not very deep. We just came back from the Bahamas where we went fishing and caught a bunch of creatures from over a thousand feet deep. The Bahamas is filled with an abundance of life and the deeper you go, the crazier the fish get. We got in our boat and went out to over a thousand feet of water where we dropped our lines down, and this is what we brought up. After a quick trip to the Bahamas, we are now back at the zoo, and I decided to bring these carcasses back with us. Oh man, look at that. This thing is solid, frozen. Let's get in here. Look at this. These things have made it all the way back to the zoo. Sarah, do you want some of this deliciousness? Oh, she's smelling it, our beautiful golden tabby tiger girl. But because this is frozen and it's inedible, we are gonna have to wait till it thaws out. To speed up this process, we're gonna put these guys in a little bit of water. While their deep sea tree is thawing out, I figured I would introduce these girls to you. If you guys haven't met them before, this is Sukino. Now guys, she does have an allergy on her eyes. You can see it's a little swollen there. So in the next video, we're gonna be showing you how we are medicating that. Oh goodness, big stretch. We've got Bindi over here. She is our gorgeous royal tiger. This is our snow white tiger. And then over here, we've got the beautiful Sarah girl. Oh, big yawn, are we gonna see some teeth? That was a crazy yawn. Look at those big chompers. Hopefully, we'll see those crush inside the fish. So these are all thawed out. Now look at this. I don't even know how many fish we have in here, but check this out. You've got all sorts of meat running down the carcass of this fish. And then if you turn it around, you can actually see that the gut content is all here. And that is where the nutrients lie. This is going to be such a good treat. There's a lot of meat still on here. Obviously, we took the whole filet off and that is for ourselves, for my family, for friends. But look at all of this. You have this collar down here that's juicy. You've got this big old crunchy head. Let's look in here. Oh, we've got some, we've got some sharp teeth. Just a crazy fish. This is called the queen snapper. And obviously we hit the mother load, the honey hole. Such an amazing fish. Let's see what the tigers are up to. Look at this. All the cats are checking this out. You know what? I think we're going to give them a little taste test. We have some crazy skin here. Here we go, Bindi. Let's see what happens with this. Oh, oh, Bindi's got it. Tsukino is just rolling around. Oh my goodness, are you just a big dog? Are you just a big dog? And Bindi is crunching down on that skin. I think this is going to be awesome. We're entering the enclosure now. If you guys will come with me, look at all of these crazy carcasses. We've got the tigers locked up behind us and look how many fish we've got. What we have to do is scatter these around so that the tigers can find them in all sorts of different locations. So I think we're gonna toss one up here, maybe just like this. We'll have his head just hanging off just a little bit there. And then we're gonna take one and we're gonna tuck it down into here. Maybe we'll get another one, guys. This is going to be like a hide and go seek for tigers. They're really gonna have to smell around and see where these things are. We've got pieces of skin here. We might put some over here by the pond. These things just look so delicious. I don't know how many they're going to be able to eat. Comment down below which tiger girl, Sarah, Tsukino, or Bindi will get the most fish. Fish going in the water, another fish right there on top. We'll put one right here. We've got all this crazy pink tasty skin. Bindi just absolutely devoured it earlier, so she's probably gonna love this pile. We've got our last carcass here, and it can't go to any other cat besides our special friend, Mr. Aboshkar, big boy. Try this. Now, he might not like the fish. The girls tend to like fish a little bit more, but this still might be a tasty treat. Well, Boshkar is walking away, I think I know someone who will like this. Oh, 
goodness. Boshkar didn't want his big juicy skin. Look at this. Look at the little hands there reaching out. So kind. We've got all sorts of meat on here. It doesn't have the gut content like the, like the uh, carcass does, but I think these guys will stay occupied. Oh, got the skin. Dude, he has it. He has it. Now we are in one of the craziest enclosures. Let's see if the big boy wants to come up. Come on, big crazy kid. Oh, I think he can smell it. I think somebody can smell that they've got a fish treat. You can see the big dark shadow coming up. Oh man, has Lazy ever had a treat from the deep like this? Let's get him up here. He's coming. Come on, big boy. Oh, man. Right out of the hand. Crunch time. Now, alligators can't actually eat underwater. They can grab and hold, but they've got this big flap in the back. So they have to eat out of the water so that they don't get a bunch of water into themselves. The fish has actually got him by the bottom jaw. The fish is holding on to him right now. He's going for the skin. Oh, there he is. Come on. Let's get it in that big mouth. Oh, there you go. Take it. Have a look at this. We've got one of Lazy's big chompers here. Actually, Sean, the videographer, found it while we were trying to feed Lazy. Look at this just laying here on the floor. Must have just cracked off. Alligators lose their teeth all the time. Comment down below how many teeth you think Lazy has. We've grabbed the carcass again, and we're trying to get him to chomp down on it come on big boy it is a little bit colder here he might be too cold to eat one two there he goes lazy is going to enjoy that let's check on our tiger girls hey big tiger kids all right all these big tiger girls are ready to go they've got their carcasses we're gonna let them out in three two one let's go tigers oh they're running they're running we gotta go Oh, Suki and Bindi discovered the first carcass on top. Oh, look, Bindi's coming down. All of the cats are moving around, sniffing, smelling all the different scents of the fishiness. Sarah has come over here to this carcass and they are just having so many interesting moments right now, just wondering what is all this stuff? All of these deep sea creatures, Bindi has seemed to be the first one to really start eating the fish. We've got her whole pile just as predicted. She has gone down to the pond and started to crunch down on the fish. Look at this. Suki's just cut, trying to come over and get some scratches. All right, all right, big girl. I'm so sorry that big mean Bendy over here is being all protective. Usually when we're feeding these cats, they're in a lockout system and they all have their own space. But to do a fun activity like this, you have to scatter the food objects everywhere so everyone can get a piece. Now that Bendy's sitting over here, and Suki's coming up for scratches. Bindi thinks she's coming to take her big fish. Look at this big fish. Have you got a big juicy fish? 
she knows I'm not trying to take it. Unlike Max, the big lion boy, when I get close to the fence and I'm next to him, he thinks I need to get out of there because I could be taking his fish. But Bindi is nice enough to know that I gave her this and she has been enjoying every bit of it. I don't think she likes my big loud voice while I'm talking, but look at this fish. She's going down, I think, for a drink of water now. Bindi is definitely the fisherman of this group of girls right here. She loves to eat the fish and now she's taking a dip in her big deep pool. We've got Sarah just hanging out over here. If you guys come down this way, Sarah hasn't really been too interested in the fish. You can see the big fish is sitting right there and she just doesn't really care about it. This is their feeding day. Let's wipe this off a little bit. Today is their feeding day. They're gonna get all sorts of chicken. This is just a snack for them, but they have enjoyed it. Suki got a little bit. Sarah didn't care and Bindi scarfed it down. Are you just taking a big dip in the pool, pretty girl? Their pool just got cleaned the other day and you can see it's still a little bit dirty. I would like to fill this up with a bunch of live fish. If you guys wanna see that, comment down below and subscribe to the channel so that you guys can see all of the new episodes. We have a lot of crazy videos coming out. The channel videos are getting a little bit higher quality. We're almost at a million subscribers. So share this video with your friends if you can and uh, I will see you guys next time. Peace.